and also the majority leader of Nyamira <coughs> County Assembly, Mr. Elijah Osieme. Madam Speaker, the main reason why I stand on this thing, I don't know the young man, I don't know the people who died in that, but we have a problem in this country. We mourn the death of young people, very promising young people. We go to the funerals, we go in choppers and we go in big cars, and we forget the family the moment that funeral is over. I want to task, <coughs> we have to take care of the young family that's left behind by that. Very promising young man. We don't have an insurance system that is going to take care of these children. I have seen myself happened to have gone one time with a friend of mine from Lua Nyanza. We were riding in a, in, 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 in a chopper from here, costing not less than half a million shillings. And the amount of money that was given as a contribution out there was very small paltry sums. Madam Speaker, that is the height of hypocrisy in this country. We need to take care of those children who were left behind by this young man who has passed on at the prime of his age who has sacrificed a lot and was willing to sacrifice for this country. Osoro, you are the majority whip here. For God's sake, can you pass around a list of all the members of parliament and start with me and come and take 20,000 from each one of us and take that money to the family? When it comes to the issue of security, the government must come with a very powerful security direction. How do you get four members of a county assembly riding in the same car. Madam Speaker, in the international organizations, the big corporations in the world, five or six members of one corporation from one department are not allowed to fly in the same plane. The other day, and my friend here is laughing, behind me, the entire leadership of Northeastern Province was supposed to fly out of this place in one plane. The governors, the senators, the members of parliament, the, the provincial administration, the security person, everybody. That happened in 2004 when we lost our best old, the entire leadership, political leadership of Marsabit in one accident. In one accident. We lost one of the most promising leaders in this country who I always say is the president that Kenya never got the late Dr. Bonaya Godana, a man of immense, immense, immense potentialities. And all the members of parliament, all of them died on that crash. Now, the security machinery must have come with a directive that says, you cannot travel so many of you coming from the same what you call department, or the same what you call region, or the same what you call institution, in one car or in one plane. Imagine about 60, how many were we? He was there. I refused to go in there. I said we are going to go for a security meeting, and this is the most, the biggest insecurity action you are taking right now as, uh, as leaders from the region and from the country, national leaders, to fly in one plane. Everybody, the governors, the senators, the members of parliament, the, the majority leaders in those places, the security machinery, the provincial police, they are, they're everybody, regional commissioner. It is not fair. I mean, that is a very powerful lapse in security. This country needs to have a very conscious security structure. So two things. Osoro, I expect you to do what I've told you, and let the government also, for God's sake, come with a directive so that we don't lose so many leaders in one accident. Thank you.